Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a pretty simple abstract photo collage and mix together a couple photos. So, hopefully, this shows you guys the basics of doing this technique and gives you some inspiration and a place to start for beginners. So, the first thing you want to do is have your photos open that you want to mix together. So, I'm going to use these two stock photos, and you can use whatever you want and then I want to create my blank canvas so I'm gonna to go to file new and I'll just pretend like I'm creating a square canvas to share it on Instagram or something so I'll do 1500 by 1500 pixels that'll be large enough square to be high quality on Instagram now in this blank canvas the first thing I'm gonna do is drag on my two stock photos into the document so I'll go here I'll pull down this window and I'll drag the layer onto my canvas and then I'll take my other layer and I'll drag that onto my canvas as well. So now that I have these two photos on the same canvas I want to kind of imagine a way that I want to mix them together. So in this case I've taken inspiration from some photos that I saw online and other styles I've seen and I'm going to kind of make the flowers pop out of this woman's head. So let's hide this for now and let's position our subject or object. So I know I want this person to be at the bottom since that's kind of how the photo was taken and it makes sense. Now the first thing you want to do is actually cut out your subject from its background. So in this case and most cases the quick selection tool will work just fine especially for this uh, kind of rough abstract style of collage and you can see I'm just painting in the selection and just make sure you're working on add to selection mode so you could pick up your brush and click in other areas to create a solid full selection now if you went over some areas that you didn't mean to you could go to minus the selection tool and paint outside of those areas or edit undo but you could see in this case there's still some parts of the hair that are not being selected and what we can do to get those finer refinements is go to select and mask. Now select and mask is actually kind of a new feature in Photoshop CC and newer versions. You might see refine edge in older versions. A lot of people think refine edge is gone now but it's not. It's actually still here if you go to the left side of the menu and you can change from quick selection tool to refine edge brush tool. So here's the tool that we're going to use to brush in those finer sections of the hair and then if you want to make any more minor adjustments you could smooth out the overall selection feather it shift the edge inwards or outwards and so on so press ok once you're happy with how your selection looks and then what you want to do and what I'm gonna do is right click and layer via copy so now you can hide your original background and you have a copy of your cutout object now what I'm also gonna do is actually make it a bit smaller so I'm gonna to go to edit transform scale or you can go to free transform and I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna drag this down a little bit just to get a little bit more negative space in the canvas and just kind of find the balance that I want to find so just a little bit smaller there and I'll press enter and now I want to think about how I want to incorporate these flowers so I know I kind of want to have them coming out of her head and I need to get rid of some of this here so what I'm going to do is grab my rectangular marquee tool and you could determine a cool way to do yours but I'm just going to grab a selection um, that looks interesting I'll just leave the bottom half of her face and then I'm going to go to layer layer mask hide selection so it's still there we can get it back however we're just hiding it in the layer mask so remember on a layer mask anything that's white will show and anything that's black will be hidden so now we have some room to play around with adding these flowers in there and I'm actually going to drag this underneath her layer so it's behind and I'm kind of imagining what an interesting placement would be and thinking about how I want to cut this out so with these flowers instead of using the quick selection tool and getting kind of like a random grouping I want a little bit more control over the outline of the burst of flowers that I want to create so I'm gonna grab my magnetic lasso tool so it's still gonna stick to the edges and I'm actually gonna hide this woman here so I can see what I'm doing these settings up here the width the contrast and the frequency 
are all about how loose or strict the magnetic lasso tool will behave. So you could play around with these settings. However, I'm going to use a setting of 10 pixels, 10% contrast, and 25 frequency. Now, all you got to do is click and then slowly trace over the selection that you want to make and it will detect the edges that you want to create. Now, if you feel like it's not getting that edge or it's sticking or you want to make sure you get an anchor point, you can click to create it and then continue. So I'm going to just create a rough outline of a cool flowing shape here and I'll finish it up here. Now with these flowers, I'm actually going to right click in layer via copy again. That's just the way that I'm comfortable working. However, you can do it however you want. I'm going to minimize the flower layer and then I'm going to unhide the woman so I can begin playing around with my placement. So I'm going to go to edit free transform. I'm going to hold shift to constrain proportions. And I'm going to scale it down so that the width of the base of these flowers and the lines are kind of more natural and meeting with her face there. Press enter, I like that, that looks about right. And the next thing we want to do is I want to create a nice pastel colored background to blend in with the whole collage and theme that we have going. So I'll click back on my background layer and we're going to go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. So here I'm going to pick a color that is kind of going along with the mood and the theme that I want. I think pastel colors work well and in this case I'm going to do a really light mint green. So that looks about right to me. Now I can actually click on both of my layers, the flower cutout and the woman cutout and hold shift and combine them into a group. So now I have everything in one and I can position that and move that around how I like. So. I'm actually just going to lift her off the border or the edge there. I don't know why, I just think it creates some cool visual separation, almost as if there is a invisible border there. And I want to try to see how it's going to look with her being black and white. So I'm going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Black and White, press OK, and then make sure I create a clipping mask. Layer, Create Clipping Mask so that the black and white layer only applies to the layer right underneath it which is her so it's clipped onto that layer and then I can grab my slider here and click and drag left in this area to darken that up and click and drag right in these areas to brighten up those so you can play around with the red yellow green blue channels and see which ones you want to make darker or lighter if that adds to your effect kind of like that and now finally here as a finishing touch I'm going to see if I can tie in all the colors and contrast by adding a new curves adjustment layer. So I'll go to layer, new adjustment layer, curves, and here I can adjust the overall contrast of the entire uh, combined collage by dragging down the shadows a little bit here and dragging up the highlights and then I can even switch over to other color channels like blue and I can take some blue and put them into the shadows to kind of colorize those dark portions and I can maybe go to the green and influence the overall green or purple tint and you can experiment with the curves tool or other adjustment tools like brightness contrast or photo filters to see if that will add something to your overall final image. I have plenty of tutorials all about the curves tool if you want to learn more. And that's what I'm going to call my finished product. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely leave a like below and share it with your friends. You can find more Photoshop tutorials on my channel in the Photoshop tutorials playlist. And definitely subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. And I'll see you guys next time.